It's not always sunshine and rainbows at the House of Mouse. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 behind-the-scenes drama about the making of Disney films. For this list, we'll be looking at Disney productions that faced insane hurdles before getting to the big screen. We'll be including films that suffered from their issues and those that rose above their circumstances to become classics. Number 10. Difficult Source Material and War Bambi There was a time when making Bambi seemed like more trouble than it was worth. A small team of animators had to figure out how to adapt the darker tone of Bambi's source material into a kid's movie. Designing and animating realistic deer also proved difficult. But after adding light-hearted characters like Thumper and extensively studying animals, the movie was ready to hit theaters in August 1942. Kinda wobbly, isn't he? Thumper. Well, he is. Unfortunately, this was right in the middle of World War II. The world's focus on the war was likely what caused Bambi to disappoint at the box office. Your mother can't be with you anymore. Although Bambi didn't thrive in 1942, a series of re-releases turned it into a beloved and successful film. Number 9. Bad, Bad Marketing John Carter After directing Finding Nemo and WALL-E, Andrew Stanton was given virtually limitless creative control over John Carter of Mars and its marketing. Stanton started by dropping Of Mars from the title because he thought this wouldn't appeal to a wide audience. You made a difference today, Virginia. Okay. See, my name is John Carter. Then when it came time to cut a trailer, a number of special effects weren't finished. After arguing with the marketing team about which scenes could be used, a teaser was finally released. But its slow pace and somber tone failed to get audiences excited. Your uncle's passing came as a shock to all of us. When Stanton cut an action-centric trailer, it came off as generic and didn't say enough about John Carter himself. You are ugly, but you are beautiful. You will fight for us! Unimpressed by the story or lead character, audiences largely decided to skip John Carter altogether. What have they done to you? <sighs> Tell challenged. I lost. Number 8. Major Story Changes During Production – The Good Dinosaur Pixar's excellent box office streak was broken by The Good Dinosaur. The movie was originally supposed to come out in 2013 with Bob Peterson as a director. When executives felt the story was too crowded and confusing, Peterson was replaced with Peter Sohn. Why? Sohn and his team simplified the story by cutting storylines and most of the characters. However, this meant that a lot of the voice acting recordings were now unusable. Disney pushed back Good Dinosaur's release date to allow for the casting and story changes, but the alterations weren't enough to make it a hit with Pixar's fanbase. Sometimes you gotta get through your fear to see the beauty on the other side. As of 2019, Good Dinosaur is Pixar's lowest grossing film. You don't have to like them, Arlo. Number 7. Financial Pressure and a Strike – Dumbo Why, your mother's gonna be so proud of you! I'm gonna be proud of you, too! The whole circus is gonna be proud of you! When Dumbo went into production, Disney was in a rough spot. Since their last two films had initially lost money, they needed Dumbo to soar at the box office while flying under budget. Animators were encouraged to use cost-saving techniques and to make the film shorter than usual. The production was chugging along smoothly until animators went on strike in 1941. Eventually, though, the team returned to finish up the film. But when Dumbo was submitted for distribution, Disney received complaints that the film was too short. Despite initial resistance, the 64-minute film made it to theaters and became a big financial success. In the end, Disney's big gamble on a little elephant really paid off. Number 6. Losing a lot of animators – The Fox and the Hound Just look what you've done! Legendary animator Don Bluth worked for Disney on and off since the 1950s but he decided to leave the company permanently during the production of The Fox and the Hound. What do you do that for? Shortly after Bluth's, as well as Gary Goldman and John Pomeroy's resignation in 1979, 13 other animators decided to follow in his footsteps. I gotta go home. You have to? Disney was left with no choice but to delay the film until the next year to accommodate the new staff. 
Fortunately for the company, the animators who stepped up included future legends Brad Bird, Tim Burton, and so many more. They were not only able to rescue the fox and the hound, but also go on to shine at Disney with their individual projects. Those days are over. I'm a hunting dog now. Number 5. Lack of faith and an earthquake. The Lion King. This may be hard to believe, but not everyone had faith in The Lion King from the beginning. Life's not fair, is it? The Lion King went into development around the same time as Pocahontas. Since most veteran Disney animators wanted to work on the more mature project, a less experienced staff had to bring Simba and friends to life. The underdog Lion King team faced another huge hurdle when LA was hit by a 6.7 earthquake right as production was wrapping up. Despite the fact that some animators were physically unable to get to work, the team pulled together and met their deadlines. Upon The Lion King's release, the underdog film that beat an earthquake instantly became a cinematic classic. My dad just showed me the whole kingdom, and I'm gonna rule it all. Number 4. Controversial Resignations Toy Story 4 While the entirety of Toy Story 2 was nearly lost due to a server error, the issues that plagued Toy Story 4 went beyond the editing room. I'm Litter Freedom! <laughs> In 2017, Pixar president John Lasseter took a leave of absence amidst allegations of workplace sexual harassment. Around the same time, Toy Story 4 co-writers Rashida Jones and Will McCormick left the project. Although it was initially believed they left due to Lasseter's behavior, the duo later said they stepped away because of creative differences and the company's lack of diverse and female creatives. Wow, you need to fix that. Despite the fact that Toy Story 4 became a billion-dollar smash, it was clear that Pixar still had serious issues it needed to resolve. You can't teach this old toy new tricks. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Number 3. A Demanding Author – Mary Poppins Just a spoonful of sugar explanation Go down in the most delightful it took over 20 years before Mary Poppins author P.L. Travers let Disney adapt her book. Even after making a deal with the company, she still proved challenging to the production. Travers negotiated for the right to look at the working script, she openly criticized the music, tone, and cast of the film, while saying no, no, no to anything she didn't like. No, 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 don't make it like that. Travers' working relationship with the company got so bad that Walt Disney didn't invite her to the premiere. When she managed to get into the Mary Poppins premiere anyway, she reportedly cried and demanded further changes. Although 2013 Saving Mr. Banks does a great job at summarizing the relationship between Travers and Disney, the truth remains stranger than fiction. And nothing happens without you say so. Quite right! Number 2. Chaos in the Editing Room and Delays – The Black Cauldron over the course of its long production timeline, Disney's first PG-rated animated film became the most expensive animated film made at the time. We started with five books and had to condense them down into one. The risky rating and the ballooning budget meant a lot was riding on the Black Cauldron's success. Oh yes, then you will worship me! But the first test screening was a disaster. Studio head Jeffrey Katzenberg ordered the animators to make major cuts before the intended Christmas 1984 release. When they hesitated, Katzenberg went into the editing room and started removing scenes himself. After pushing Black Cauldron's release date back and removing more than 10 minutes of footage, the film debuted in July 1985. Please, master, not go into Evil Cauldron. If I don't, we're all lost. In an ironic twist of fate, it was criticized for plot holes. Before it became a massive box office failure, then a cult hit. Come on, Gergi. <laughs> Let's go home. Yeesh, literally cutting parts of a movie is a move. But there's one production that was so fraught with issues, there's a documentary about it. And it's heartbreaking. Take a look at these honorable mentions before we find out which movie almost cost the company its groove. That is not Bolt. Well, that depends on how you look at it. We'll just explain the entire situation and we'll get this whole misunderstanding cleared up. Congratulations. You are being rescued. Please do not resist. Now I'm standing. Y'all happy? We're all standing up now. 
Well, it was determined to make Sleeping Beauty a different kind of animated film. He instructed his crews to develop new methods of telling the story, of photographing it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Missing Deadlines, Rewritten Scripts, and Deleted Content – The Emperor's New Groove Go! Oh, you threw off my groove! I'm sorry, but you've thrown off The Emperor's Groove. The Emperor's New Groove was originally a musical called Kingdom of the Sun. Oh yeah! With music by Sting, voice talent from Owen Wilson, and directing by Roger Allers of Lion King fame, it seemed poised to become a hit, but executives and test audiences didn't like the film's plot or characters. For me, so much of the movie isn't working. I just don't know who I'm supposed to care about, what I'm watching. When Allers' request to work on it for six more months to a year was denied, he quit. His co-director and now-replacement Mark Dindle helped cut characters, removed most of Sting's songs, and made the film more comedic. This had better be good! Since these changes caused further delays, Disney rushed Dinosaur into theaters to cover The Emperor's New Groove's planned release date. Although The Emperor's New Groove didn't achieve box office success, its status as a cult favorite may make the behind-the-scenes drama worth it. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Oh well. Back to business. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.